This is Queen Zelda. It's been a while since I've um, uploaded anything or really done anything, and I kind of wanted to explain why I haven't been online in a while, why I haven't streamed anything, uploaded anything, uh, why I haven't really done much of anything since like December of last year. So I'm gonna start a new level and go from there, and we'll make our cute little character. It'd be so cute. But, um, sometime in December before Christmas, I caught the, I had the coronavirus, essentially. Uh, I think he's right. Yep, I'm waiting for my GameCube right now. <laughs> and, um, while I had the coronavirus, I had a really bad fever. I had a really bad cough. I still sort of have a cough, but it's not as bad as I had it. In December was terrible. I could barely sleep. I could hardly, you know, breathe because of because of the cough. I, it was terrible. But you know, it wasn't bad enough to where I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> um, during that time, I slept sitting up on the couch because I was just trying to get some, you know, freaking sleep because I hadn't had hardly any sleep at all that night and for some nights during that time and uh, it lasted about a week or so and um, eventually I get over that but I never not lost my sense of taste or smell My husband did. He lost his sense of taste and smell, but I made him take some um, zinc and calcium so he would get his sense of taste and smell back. Because every time that, you know, I had the, that, during that time I had the coronavirus, um, he would make me s smell stuff because he couldn't smell it. It was just terrible. And, um, so it's like, I want to make him <laughs> take this stuff so I don't have to constantly smell whatever it is he wants me to smell. And he would always shove it in my face. There's my water. <laughs> I mean, I would record, also, I would record, uh, Citra using OBS, but it doesn't work very well, so I'm using my Xbox controller to record it with and I have a lot to talk about because even though I got over the coronavirus it took like two weeks for me to get over it and, you know I didn't go to the hospital or anything I'm still you know dealing with after effects I'm dealing with I've dealt with I've been having no appetite since December and when I get got my uh, Johnson & Johnson shot it made it worse and I was hardly eating anything for like two weeks after. It's just recently gotten better. Just recently. And I mean, that tells you how long I've been dealing with this. I also still deal with uh, a mild cough. It's not as bad as when I had, you know, had it in December. And I'm also dealing with um, sciatic nerve pain in my left leg, which is hard for me to sit down and stream for hours and hours and hours on it like most people do, you know. Most people just sit down and stream for like four hours. Easy. I can't because I have to lay down or something because sitting up hurts too much. I'm trying to take some uh, fish oil and turmeric and some other stuff to try to get better. So we'll see how that goes. Um. I'm also dealing with the loss of a friend, someone I thought was a friend, but I guess they were never my friend because they left the community and they're gone now. And they would talk to me about everything over voice chat, anything and everything they'd talk to me about, and now they're gone. And that's something I had for a long time, and I guess I took advantage of that. 
I, it's just really hard to play Minecraft anymore because that person's gone. And I'm sorry I'm not in the realm anymore. It's just really sad to be in there. And there's no one who wants to talk to me or really have anything to do with me, I feel. <laughs> And that's the way I feel about the whole community. I mean, I keep telling everyone, oh, I don't have any friends, and it's like, and they're all like, oh, but that's on you. And I'm like, no, it's on you. Nobody wants to talk to me. Nobody wants to pull me into voice chat. Nobody wants to give two fucks about me. Because it's not about them, you know, trying to reach out to me. I have to reach out to them. And nobody gives two fucks. So why should I fucking care? That's how I feel, you know? I've, it's like I told Toby Rev Blackfire. He's like, why didn't coronavirus kill me? Because, you know, he, supposedly he caught it too. I'm like, yeah, well, I caught coronavirus too, but why aren't I dead? Why didn't it kill me? Why didn't, you know, I end up in the dirt like everybody else who ended up dead because of it? And here I am. I'm still alive. And so is he. I mean, we just have to go about our lives because the world's going to keep on spinning whether we're alive or dead. Whether or not we like it. And because the... You know, social media blew up how bad the coronavirus is. That, you know, yes, it does kill some people. It doesn't kill the majority of them. It's just that hospitals are greedy and are looking for a way to get that money from, oh, you had coronavirus most likely, so that's what we're going to put you down as dying from. And that's probably not what they died from. It's just easy for them to get money. But anyway. I'm not here to rant about that. I'm here to talk about what's going on with me. Okay, so uh, after all of that, and that's all of, all of what I've been dealing with. I didn't. I don't really want to record or you know stream my playing The Quiet Man. You know, because Skytax keeps insisting, oh, but you have to play it, and I'm like, why? I mean, I am going to record my playing it, but I need to be able to be well enough with my sciatica to be able to do it. I can't sit and play a game for hours because it's just not going to happen. Usually, um, if I play a game online on Twitch, it's for about an hour or so. That's usually about how long I can go. That one time that I played a Minecraft with uh, Jefferson and Osmosis. I was, I still had, a, I still had Sidica. but at the time I was taking um, the fish and fish oil and uh, some other supplements to help with that. So I'm going back to doing that again to hopefully help with it. <laughs> I've actually got a town named Bacon in my 3DS file. So I'm gonna name this town... America. Cause why not? I'm going to the town of America to build and make it beautiful. I, I don't know. But, you know, why not? Right? The town of America, baby. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but, um, that's why I usually don't stream for very long when I'm on uh, Twitch or any place because I really can't. I'm not able to because my leg hurts too bad. And I have to get up and walk around and do stuff. Or I have to take, you know, some ibuprofen or whatever and then I can sit down for maybe a little bit more. But it's in bits and spurts. I'm slowly getting better. Because for a while I couldn't take any medicine because my appetite wouldn't let me. I'd just throw it up. Even if, uh... Ugh. I know I get like different ones I can look at. Um, yeah, this one's nice. This one's right up at the top. There's a thing in the middle. 
Yeah, here's good. It's a secret. <laughs> but if, uh... I'm trying to remember how to make my character look. I'm gonna have to look it up, I guess. But uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk some more about my about why I haven't been streaming. I really haven't been feeling so great over the last couple of months, as it were. Like I'll be feeling fine in the morning. I'll be doing my stuff. No, no big deal. No problem. But then I'll uh, go to bed at night and I'll have a slight fever. And it's been happening every so often. Just this week, like last night, I had a fever of like 100.2. Yeah, 100.2, yeah. Like a day or so ago. Not yesterday. Yesterday night was like 99.1 or so, but it's still a slight fever. And uh, my husband thinks that... Um, I just get a fever because it gets too cold and my body's trying to warm up. Usually you're supposed to cool down when when you um, go to bed and not warm up. So I've been dealing with that. <laughs> and uh, I had um, Embers, or Leslie is her name ask me when you gonna stream next and I'm like I don't know because um, you know there's a lot going on with me personally you know and I don't have any you know friends that I can go to and talk to about this cuz you know nobody cares <laughs> no one in the fam lot cares that's how I feel I'm probably wrong I could probably talk with one of them and go oh but blah 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 you know and it'd be fine but everyone has their own lives and I'm having to deal with my own shit and I don't really have anyone I could go to like I used to because that person's gone now. <sighs> yeah, I'm using a face guide. Yeah, some of these faces I just don't like, but I think I'll pick this one. Let's see. Uh... Yeah. I'm going with dark hair and foofy. I'm going with dark hair and like almond eyes for this character. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> and uh, it's just easier to talk about what I've been going through and do an update with uh, Animal Crossing because I really like New Leaf. It's a good game. And I found a Citra um, Nightly um, emulator so I could just play it. And I could just use uh, my Xbox controller to record it. Move the microphone close to, close enough to where I can talk about all this shit. Uh, I don't really know when I'm going to be able to stream again. Hopefully sometime late in the summer or something. I'll try to... I'm trying to get better the best I can. But I'm not going to make any promises. Oh, I'm coming back to streaming and blah blah blah. But I can't make that promise when I'm still dealing with sciatic nerve pain and I know some games take at least two three hours to beat like for example The Quiet Man takes at least three hours to beat and uh, speed run for that is like two hours or so and uh, it's gonna take me a while to be able to sit down for two hours because sometimes I just can't I'm hoping that by taking you know, the vitamins again and the other stuff that I'm doing to try to help make things better. I'll get better because I'm starting to slowly eat again. I'm starting to feel better. And uh, the, I guess the good thing about all this is that during all of this I've had no appetite. So 
I've lost at least 100 pounds. I used to be 300 pounds, so I lost down to 200 and something. I'm like 240. It's be like 360 or so. So I've lost a lot of weight. But that's because, you know, I was... My body was basically starving itself because I had no appetite. I couldn't eat hardly at all. And trying to explain to people what I'm going through is hard for me to do because I feel like I have no one in the community who really gives two craps about what I'm going through. You know, especially since everyone was like, oh, I love you, you're awesome. Thank you for coming to my stream. I love you so much. And they don't love you. They don't give two craps about you. And if they do, it's... They're lying. They just want you to come back for views. And you... I know it. Even Arlo's that way. And I mean, Arlo's a good YouTuber and I like him, but I know he doesn't give two craps about me. Neither does anybody else who's like, oh, but I love you. But you don't. You don't love me. You don't know anything about me. You don't know what my favorite things are. Who my favorite people are. You don't know what my favorite color is. You don't know anything about me. How can you say you love me when you don't know me? It, it just makes no sense to me. Why do people say that on streams all the damn time and they don't mean it? It just makes no sense to me. But that's, you know, that's me. Maybe I'm just that way. <laughs> but, um... I'm also very... I'm one of those kind of people that that don't take you at your word, that don't take you at face value, too, you know. You tell me, oh, I love you, I don't take you at face value, because you don't, I feel like you don't know, you don't know me. I mean, I can believe you say that to someone else, and you've met them, and go, oh yeah, you definitely love that person, because you've met them, you know them, you understand them. Nobody has met me. Nobody will ever meet me, and that's just the way things are, because I have no money. <laughs> the only thing I have to- I have is just, you know, recording stuff and streaming. That's it. And I'm probably never gonna be at any Famlot meetup or any meetup, really. I don't- I won't be able to afford to go. There's no way for me to get there. I don't have- I have a car. Usually, I just walk to places I need to go to, because there's like a store not even 20 miles from here I walk to every week if I need something. That's how I, you know, survive. Sometimes my husband brings stuff home or I have to go grab it. It just depends on what's going on. Uh, American Station. I can't wait to be able to get in all the other characters and I can do her hair and all this stuff in this game. Anyway. <laughs> um, someone asked me on a in stream, why are you giving out the quiet man to so many people? What's the intent? And I was like, I did it for the lulls. And, you know, initially I did. But to be honest, I did it because what made me mad because they didn't stand up for our sleep. You know, it's all fun and games making fun of the women folk until you have to pay the piper. And by paying the piper, that means playing the quiet man. Hey, uh, uh, a duck, a burb, and an elephant. <laughs> Think I'm married. I did. I don't remember, anyway. <laughs> but 
Yeah, um, I've been having a lot going on with me for a long time. I've been sick, I've been dealing with depression because, you know, a friend left because of stupidity. I feel that they were my friend, but they really weren't because they, they noped off to nowhere land forever and I'm never going to be able to talk to them again and try to make amends. I tried and they told me to fuck off so I don't know. Whatever. I, you know, guess things are the way they are, right? Anyway, um, I'd love to make some friends online. Someone who will talk to me and over voice chat about stupid shit. But that's never gonna happen because nobody wants to have anything to do with me. And that's fine. You know, I live my life and do my own thing. It's just the way things are sometimes, right? Whatever. <laughs> but I'm also probably being down on myself. I mean, I'm a good person. I usually try to do the best that I can. And according to Jerson, I'm a pillar of the community, quotation marks. Quotes in the air, y'all. Uh, I love having, I've got like a bunch of butterflies up in my room. Because I love butterflies and I found some like uh, metal ones and I've got them up in here and throughout the house. And they even have like butterfly stickers. But anyway, um, we're also remodeling our kitchen right now. Not the whole thing. We're not doing the whole nine yards in the kitchen. All we're doing is we took down one cabinet because that's all we had. And the cabinet we had is like super freaking old. And it was so bad that it was starting to bow with, you know, all the dishes in there. But it was that way when we got this house, which was like 10 years ago. And it was starting to get worse. So I decided to buy us some new cabinets that were finished with paint and everything. And then I got a tool for us. So that's what I did. I bought two um, cabinets for us to install into the kitchen because we kind of need the room. Because we were. Not that, you know, I'm really super into buying a lot of cups or anything, but if I see some on sale, I'm gonna get them. Especially if I find like a SpongeBob cup for really cheap. <laughs> You know, then I'll buy it. And we were slowly running out of room because, you know, we only had one cabinet. But because we took out that old cabinet and it's gone now, we're putting up two new ones. And once those are up, we'll have enough room, hopefully, for more dishes than that if we need it. And some of these dishes are kind of kind of old and <laughs> we need to go through them when we put everything back and that's fine you know it's just one of those things you have to deal with as you upgrade your house and do stuff so hopefully we'll have new cabinets up right now uh, my husband had to figure out where the studs were for the second cabinet that he's putting up because the studs were put up or just for the one cabinet that we took, that, you know, he took down. And uh, he found the other studs for, to put the other cabinet, cabinet up with. So, but uh, he had to basically work this weekend. So he wasn't able to uh, put them up. So hopefully this weekend we'll have them up. Or at least sometime soonish. <laughs> um, yeah, my GameCube. Uh, a couple of days ago, I wouldn't play it because I was wanting to play some uh, Legend of Zelda um, Majora's Mask on my GameCube. Because, uh, you know, I love my GameCube. And uh, it, it's, it wasn't spinning. It wasn't spinning at all. So, I basically bought a used GameCube off of eBay for like 60 bucks. And I've been waiting for it to get here. Because once it comes, I'm going to hook it up and pop in the bottom part for the Game Boy Advance player. And pay, play me some freaking Minish Cap. Or just install Minish Cap. Or just download Minish Cap for my PC and play it on here. Maybe stream it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> or I'll figure it out. I don't know. I don't know when that day will be. Hopefully. 
it'll be like next month or something. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna make any promises. I've been sick for a long time. Quotations, sick. But you know, I've been feeling iffy at night and okay in the morning. So maybe I'd have to do a streaming around. Um, what time is it right now? Okay, around 2.30 or so. Which is fine. I know you're probably seeing everything I'm doing. I don't care, whatever. <laughs> but, you know, Leslie's like, oh, but I'll be there if you need me, and I'm like, okay, whatever. mostly my fault because I've been sick <laughs> and I really don't care if I get big on YouTube and that's probably you know my bad because I don't give two fucks I just enjoy playing games and showing how good I am at them I mean I'm really good at Animal Crossing it's just this controller is being a pain in my ass and so is the controls <laughs> but anyway um I'm sorry if it comes off like that, you know, oh, she's sad, she's just, you know, saying she has no friends, but she has everyone in chat who's her friend, and I'm like, yeah, but you still don't know me. A friend of me is someone who knows you, they know your favorite things, they know a lot about you, they know who your favorite people are, your favorite animals, all that other kind of bull crap, but nobody knows that about me. And that's just how I feel, and those are my feelings, and they are valid, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, but because nobody wants to reach out and talk to me, that's on them. I just don't want to bother somebody with, you know, my taking up their time by talking to them about this bullshit, you know, because it's what it is, it's bullshit. You know. I guess getting to know you, getting to know all about you, right? And nobody wants to do that anymore. It's all about, you know, oh, you're just friends and passing, that's it. I'm sorry, but I, I like my friends to be actual friends, not, you know, someone I met on the internet who I know next to nothing about. <laughs> but, you know, that's me. Anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to end this year. I uh, just wanted to make an update video of how I'm doing. I was thinking about doing something else different, but eh, no crossing works, right? Anyway, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. If anybody wants to reach out to me, I'm on Discord. My username's Queen Zelda. I'm not going anywhere. So, see you later. Bye.